Next question is from Mo Strength Gains. You've ranked the big lifts a few times. What would you consider the top five accessory movements outside of a squat or deadlift variation, overhead press, and bench press? Uh, okay. I, I would have to put a row in there. I think a barbell row. Okay, I'll give you or that. Or a dumbbell row. I'll give you that. So there's is, one. Is a very, very important exercise. Okay. I'll, I'll do one more and then I'll leave the rest. This one I think you guys will probably guess too. Split stance uh, squat variations. Oh, uh, well, that, I mean, that's a, a squat variation. Though. Yeah. Um, right? I mean, that's a, that's a, Bulgar a Bulgarian split squat is a right. squat squat variation. Yeah, but would you see a lunge is a part of a squat variation? That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, because I, 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 I would go that direction. I think we too. could put lunge because you have that back leg, it's stabilizing differently. I think it's a different, different exercise. Yeah, yeah I would say it. that lunging or Bulgarian or mm -hmm. back step lunge or something like that has got to be up there. So there's two right there. So what do you guys think for the other? Yeah, the three. Yeah. Um, I mean, I would think like a pull-up. You don't see that well, on there. That's not, that's not bad. A pull-up would definitely cover I, I'll give good. you that. Yeah, I like, I like, I like pull-up for sure exercise. there. You know what's hard about this is that a lot of accessory movements are, are very similar as far as how I would value them, right? Mm -hmm. You have like the yeah. big core lifts like yeah. that are – that we talk about so much and we rank and we say are so valuable. And then I kind of feel like all the rest of them are like very debatable on like, Oh, yeah. would you put this one above sure, that one or right. this one? Like the, I, it's hard for me to list what I yeah. think is the next. Preferably I, I would also throw in like a farmer carries just because of like the overall value of what that brings, like in terms of like loading of weight, but also like it, it reinforcing good posture. And like, I could pretty much like I could see that plug and play that in a lot of different types of I, programs. I could see that. I would even put a dip. Um, you know, using your body weight to press yourself up or yeah. to push your body up, just like a pull up to pull your body up. Very functional. I mean, I'll give I'll give body. a dip. I love dip because it, we already did two pulls, right? So we did the the row and then and the, the pull up. Pull up. Right. So I can get down with that. I love the dip for your push. Yeah. Because I was trying to think of other push exercises that's not a variation of the overhead press or the bench, or the press. bench press. Yeah, right. I was thinking of the, the uh, farmer carry for the deadlift, you know, like in terms of just holding. Or just stabilization. Stabilizing, yeah. Uh, yeah. Overhead carries then maybe? I'm trying to think of something that uh, would be... A, a that's ver very valuable. Yeah. That's another um, valuable exercise. So we got the dip, we have the row, we have the pull-up, we have... Farmer uh, carry. Farmer carry. And overhead carries? Overhead carries are pretty are pretty good. What about like chopping, like rotational stuff? Uh, you know, in terms of like like a med ball toss or something like. A, I mean, it's again, this is an accessory that's uh, it's not easily a program. Well, you know, well, why we're over here fumbling all rotation. over ourselves right now? I yeah. want to point out that this is the that's the point, right? That those those top ranked exercises themselves somebody can get in the most amazing shape and never move outside of them and the best thing you can do after you move outside of them is all the variations of those movements yeah, yeah. and then we can get into this debate of all I these know. other secondary movements or accessory movements that are are great those are and i'm not saying these are all bad exercises i'm just saying that when you compare them to the big 5 uh, there's so many variations within the big five. Well, that's that I like think the are common incredible. subsect is is what you do is you you find like the uh, you know the other versions of the squats, the other versions of the deadlifts, you know, like the to to implement in the programming as far as like your second tier uh, while putting it together. But after that, it's like okay, so now what are we actually trying to do to add, to adapt towards? I mean, would a chest fly be in here? You know what? I'll I'll say this. Let's imagine this is a step up. So imag imagine say. this is a routine, right? You're designing a workout plan for someone. Yeah. And we have to pick an exercise for the each major muscle well, now, group. We we did, I mean, pull up, dip, row, you know, uh, farmer carry. Like, why not put something like a, a, a Turkish get up? Like, that would round this whole thing out and include a very functional stabilization component some core oh i was like, thinking of okay what would i do if i was going to use the the next best accessory movements and i want to attack the entire body like i right. want to hit a ch chest exercise shoulder arms back legs but i can't use the five big what yeah, am i four big right or the yeah four yeah. or five in this case they use five what which what would i do and i, I the dip can argue you can argue is your chest mm -hmm. right right um, chest, shoulders, pull up, triceps. Yeah, back. Yeah, back, pull up, biceps. And rows. Biceps, yep. that, that goes rows. there. Legs, we're going to say what? You're going to say- I say step-ups and lunges. Yeah, lunges, squats, we're already there, right? So lunges uh, give you that other component. Okay. 
Uh, so let's see. We don't have like a like a functional stabilization type. Comp- I mean, farmer carries are really good uh, for that. Yeah. You know what would be good? I mean, I think I think that the next one, the next one we can add is debatable, right? Mm-hmm. I would love to see the comments after this video because I know Andrew, you know, puts these videos together. I'd like to see in the comments what people think that ex- that next exercise should be. Yeah, there's really not a wrong answer here, and, and I think I can argue uh, almost any other yeah. accessory movement. Let's but. see what you guys think.